Hello there, welcome back to my channel, Backgammon is Beautiful. Thank you so much for joining me. In this short learning video, we're going to look at the tricky three away match score cube. We're going to look at different types of positions, blitzes, holding games and races, and how to make cube adjustments, and also the reason why. Now, as I said, this score is tricky and difficult. So see this video as a prelude, as an introduction to whet your appetite, to pique your interest, to go away onto XG, enter the positions and experiment, analyze and investigate even further. Nonetheless, I hope this video does have some good advice and I hope you find it useful and I hope it improves your cube handling over the board for you to win more matches and then some more tournaments. If you like and enjoy my efforts, and please do like, subscribe and help me promote my channel further. Now let's get started. So when we consider cubing in a match, we want to always start from a position of money and then make adjustments from there. So here we can see a classic double five reference position where green has one checker on the bar and one on our four point as white. So here this is a borderline double, no double for white. So it wouldn't be an error to double or not to double this position. So this is useful to know as a reference point for money because then when we introduce a match score, we can see how that changes from this position here. So there we are. You can see the same position from earlier, but now we have introduced a match score. It is a seven point match. White is three away leading and green is five away. And this is now a significant no double and would be a big blunder to double this as white as the leader. Whereas before it was a borderline decision. So in a seven point match, you need to be very, very careful to double blitz positions as a leader if you are three away. And part of the reason for this is that gammons give you an overage of one point. So it's a less efficient use of the cube. So here as a leader as white, you only need three points to win the match. And you would get four points by winning a gammon on a turned cube. So you would have one point surplus, which would be an overage of one point. And that should be an indicator of not to double. So that's something to think about in terms of how many points do you need to win the match and how many points are you going to get. Now this only becomes a double when the score draws equal and you are no longer leading. So when the score is equal to three way, three way, it's a double take. And that is because the take point is higher than money. So for money, the live cube take point is 21.5% because of a recube VIG. And a three-way, three-way, the take point is 25%, which is higher than money. And when a take point is higher, that means you can cube earlier and be more aggressive because your opponent has a more difficult take. So here you can see in this opening blitz position in a seven-point match, when you're leading a three-way, it is often always wrong to double as the leader at this score. Now, of course, there are exceptions to this, but this is just a general rule of thumb. When you are leading at three away, not when a score is equal, do not double blitz positions. So now when we look at the leader being doubled, so here we can see that white is four away and green is three away. So white is doubling this, and now this is a double pass. It's a significant double, and it's also a significant pass. So in a gammonish blitz position, you often take everything at three away as the leader, except at this score when the opponent is at four away. And that is because gammons are extremely efficient to win the match with no overage. You win four points, which wins a match perfectly efficiently without any surplus points. So you often take everything a three away as the leader when you are being doubled, except at this score where you have to be very, very careful. Now, if we look at a different type of position, a holding game, which has none to low gammons. Here we can see 
that white is three away and green is four away. And this is a small no double borderline decision. And it's also only an error to double at three away, five away and at three away, six away. And that is because a three way four away, the trailer has a higher take point and you can cube earlier. And this position is a borderline decision for money. So this is a holding game reference at the three away score. And now the leader being doubled. So here white is seven away and green is three away. So here we can see in this position, it's a double take. But in a non gamish holding game, it's a small double from a trailer at seven away, three away, and also six away, three away, which is borderline. And it's a no double at five away, three away, and at four away, three away, when the match score draws closer. So that gives you an idea of how it changes at different scores, where it's borderline, and then where it becomes closer when the match score gets more close together. So let's look now at this third type of position, a racing position. So this is a no contact race with no gammons. So in a non contact race with no gammons, you can double as early as three away, six away as the leader because a take point is very similar to money at 22 percent a three away seven away it would be an error because a take point for the trailer is lower than money at 20 percent and a three way four away you can double earlier than money because a take point is higher at 25 percent and for money this position is a double take so you can see the different equity points there on there to make that comparison so it's really important to understand the difference from money. The money take point is 21.5. Here we can see when the take point is 20%, then we have to wait longer to double because our opponent has an easier take. But when the take point of our opponent is higher at 25%, we can be much more aggressive because they have a more difficult take. So really, I would advise looking up the take points on the cube information on XG or finding them online and just studying or highlighting where the take point is higher, where it's lower. And that means what we do with the cube. Can we be more aggressive or do we have to be more conservative? So really, that is a key kind of thing to have in mind when you're cubing a different match scores. So here we have the leader being doubled. So now seven away, three away. So here in a non-contact race with no gammons, it's a double take at seven away, three away, and also six away, three away. And it's a small no double borderline at five away, three away, and at four away, three away. So again, you can see there the difference between doubling at certain scores and not doubling at other scores because of the changes in take point. And also you need to be mindful of being offered a recube back at certain scores as well. So there is a lot of things to be thinking about in terms of whether you should be doubling or not. Now let's look at a summary of the things we've mentioned in this video. So if this is some advice on three away cubes when you are the leader doubling. So when you are leading at a three away score, so do not double gammonish positions or at least be extremely cautious. If you are leading when a match score draws equal, it's a different scenario. But certainly when you're leading, you need to be extremely cautious. And there are some players who would just not ever double if they are leading at that score. Remember the things at the beginning on the overage of points and bear that in mind, thinking about cube efficiency. Be cautious when doubling holding game positions it often needs to be better than for money when you are the leader doubling. And double non-contact racing positions similar to money, except a three away, four away, where you can be more aggressive. So these are just some broad brush strokes. Of course, there are exceptions to these, but follow this advice and you can't go that far wrong.
Now with three away as a leader being doubled, when you are leading at a three away score, you take pretty much everything except blitz cubes when your opponent is four away from winning. And that is because of the efficiency of winning a gammon on the turned cube. Now as a trailer, you double aggressively all blitz positions when behind in the score, because of course you want to win a gammon to close the gap and catch up on the match score. And in positions that have little or no gammons, be slightly more aggressive in money when further behind in a match score, but more cautious when the match score becomes closer. So there you are, that is some advice. I hope you found that helpful. I do have a playlist of cubing videos on my channel, so do check that out. Lots of different videos on different aspects of the cube. You put it all together, it's more strings to your bow, more feathers in your cap, more things to just make you better at cube handling over the board. Thank you so much for watching. See you next Wednesday. Goodbye.